in this question there's a five centimeter high cone and inside the cone there's a cylinder what you have to find in this question is the maximum surface area of the cylinder and the radius when it has that maximum surface area so to find the maximum you're going to need to find the surface area of that cylinder first so the formula for that area equals 2 pi r squared so there are two circles the top and the bottom the base and the top of that cylinder so 2 pi r squared plus and the area of that curved surface is the distance around that circle which is 2 pi r and that's multiplied by the height and to find the derivative of this with respect to a variable you need to have only one variable and because there's only one h in it what i'm going to try and do is get h in terms of r and then sub that back in here and then i'll be able to find the derivative of this so somehow you need to get a rule that connects r and h and in this case you're going to need to use similar triangles which is usually the case in a cone type problem and so what you need to do is drop a vertical line down here to the center so if I come across from there to the edge like that, then this small triangle here and that big triangle are similar triangles because they have that angle in common there, which is a right angle, and this one here, which is a right angle. This angle here and here between that edge and that radius there, those two angles are equal to each other and they both share this angle up the top in common so they have corresponding angles that are equal to each other and that makes them similar triangles so in the small triangle here this is the radius and this here is the height of that triangle which is just going to be that 5 minus this height here so 5 minus h there and in the big triangle that height is 5 and its radius is 2 so 5 and 2 and because I want h in terms of r I'm going to start with this one so doing small on big so this side from the small triangle 5 minus h on its corresponding side which is 5 is equal to this side r over 2 and both of these on the top are from the small triangle and both of these on the bottom are from the big one Multiplying both sides by 5 to get rid of the 5 on the bottom here you end up with 5 minus h equals 5r on 2 and then moving this to that side and then moving that to that side you get 5 minus 5r on 2 is equal to h and so h is equal to 10 on 2 which is that 5 minus 5r on 2 and that's just equal to 10 minus 5r on 2 and now I want to sub this back into this equation here so doing that you get the surface area is equal to 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r times by this so 10 minus 5r on 2 and then putting that over 1, these 2's will cancel and become 1's. And then you're left with 2 pi r squared. And then pi r times both of those on the top, so you're going to get 10 pi r. And then minus 5 pi r squared. And then 2 pi r squared minus 5 pi r squared is minus 3 pi r squared plus that. And from here deriving that, so d, s, a, with respect to r and deriving this you get minus 6 pi r plus 10 pi and taking out a common factor a common factor um, 2 pi and I'm going to take it out from this term first and then minus and so that's going to be 3 r here and then letting that equal 0 for that maximum surface area and then from that you let this equal zero this part's never equal to zero a lot of students get confused with this uh, doing the null factor law but if there's no variable here you basically ignore that so 5 minus 3 
the null factor law still applies. Either this is zero or that's zero, but that can't be zero, so that means this part in here is zero. So five minus three are equals zero, so from there three r equals five and r equals five on three. So that's the radius when the area surface area is a maximum. And then subbing this into here is equal to minus three pi r squared. So five on three squared plus ten pi times by five on three. So that surface area is equal to, so minus 3 pi times by squaring both of those numbers, you get 25 over 9 plus 10 pi on 1 times 5 pi on 3. So 3 cancels into that to become minus pi and into that to become 3. So minus 25 pi on 3. And then this is 50 pi on 3, multiplying the tops together and the bottoms together. And then that equals 25 pi on 3. So that's surface area max. Uh, and that happens when r equals 5 on 3. So this is 5 on 3 centimeters. And because this, this is area, that's going to be centimetres squared. So again, with this type of question, making sure to start it, you always focus on the thing you're trying to find, which in this case, the maximum surface area. So that meant I had to find the surface area first or an expression for it. And once I had that up here, realising that there were two variables here and I needed to get one in terms of the other, and to do that in this case involved using similar triangles from the diagram or in the diagram and then subbing that expression for h in terms of r. I could have done r in terms of h, it just would have meant two substitutions to do which would have meant more work. And then I ended up with this expression here for the surface area which is easily derived and then solving that for uh, the expression to equal zero and then getting that R value and then subbing that in here. So usually the hardest part with these questions is just really this first part, getting the formula in terms of one variable using whatever method is appropriate to the question. So that's about it for this lesson.